connection. We are connected. What up, everybody? Welcome to show uh, show number nine. Patrick Mahon. It only took nine shows and the ninth one to be in my minivan to uh, for Patrick Mahon to show up for uh, for one of these shows. So, Pat, man, I wish you were uh, I wish you were sitting next to me right now. Playing, uh, playing with me. So, actually, Pat, stick around. We're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play a song that you and I have played together live. I think. I think we have. Shout out, actually, to Pat Mahon. He's a nurse. He's on the front lines, out on the East Coast, fighting, fighting COVID nineteen, as he's dropping in the comments right now. So, um. So great to have you guys here. We are show number nine is from the back of the Flanagan family minivan. Um, this was a, a new pickup for the family this year uh, to serve both our our family needs and also uh, the uh, Connor Flanagan music tour bus needs. So since we've had it though, we actually we've taken it on a couple short trips, but we haven't taken it on any um, on any long road trips yet. But as soon as uh, As soon as this, um, as soon as the COVID-19 stuff pans down or calms down, and we start getting shows on the calendar again, uh, you better believe we'll be packing this thing up and and uh, taking it across the country wherever wherever they will have us. So, if you're uh, just joining us for the first time, if this is your first time tuning into a house tour of my house tour show, uh, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, we're on show number nine. Uh, we got two more, three more after this, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. But uh, since I can't be going out on tour right now, I figured I'd just book my own tour uh, in my house. So we've just been playing different venues of my house for the last two and a half, two weeks, two and a half weeks. And uh, I have been, this was one of the first ideas I had was to play uh, a show in the back of my van, but we, I waited, I held on to it because I was like, I want it to be the right show. Um, Julia, Julia Richter, welcome, first time joining us for a live show, super glad you're here. Um, so this first song we're going to play tonight is called Fly Away, and uh, this song always makes me laugh because I wrote this um, out of a place of, uh, it kind of came from um, Transfiguration, right, when Jesus is on the top of the mountain. And uh, with his apostles, and they just they, they see him transfigured. They see his glory, his goodness, and uh, in a very real way before their eyes. And they just are like, "Hey, Lord, let's can we just pitch tents and dwell here with you?" And he's like, "No, you have to go back down the mountain." And uh, I wrote the song out of a place of like sometimes life is hard, and sometimes uh, it's okay to just have that moment and that feeling of like, God, I really just want to pitch a tent and be on the mountaintop. Uh, with you um, I just I just want to do that I just want to be with you um, because my current situation maybe feels like it's too much for me and so I just wrote this as a simple that was my prayers like God there's just sometimes that I want to fly away to the mountaintop see your face your glory God live in your love forever live in your love forever and it's alright to feel that, and there's times where we're just gonna feel that. So this song's called Fly Away. Um, and when I'm done, I've got a fun story to uh to share with you guys. So I don't know where I'm going 
see the road ahead All I know is that my heart is yearning for For you So here I sit waiting for something new For a new love to break through So here I sit waiting for something new For your love for your love to break through I wanna fly away to the mountains See your face, your glory, God Live in your love forever Live in your love forever I wanna fly away to the mountains See your face, your glory, God Live in your love forever Live in your love forever Toss and turn and tumble in Round and round here I go again I feel like I've done this all before But this time around is for you my Lord So here I sit waiting for something new For a new love to break through So here I sit waiting for something new For your love, for your love to break through I wanna fly away to the mountain See your face, your glory, God Live in your love forever Live in your love forever Fly away to the mountaintop See your face, your glory, God Live in your love forever Live in your love forever Live in your love forever My heart beats With a love for you, my God my heart it beats, my heart it beats my, my heart it beats With a love for you, my God My heart it beats, my heart it beats My, my heart it beats With a love for you, my God My heart it beats, my heart it beats With a love for you, my God, my heart it beats, my heart it beats. I wanna fly away to the mountain top, see your face, your glory, God. Live in your love forever, live in your love forever. Oh, fly away to the mountain top, see your face, your glory, God. Live in your love forever 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 Let's fly away. Uh, fun and funny story behind that song is when... So that's on the record Close To You. And... Uh, when I recorded that song, again, I, at that point, it was my second. It was my second album, but my first really produced album, and I had no idea what I was doing. And I was still trying to figure out what it means to have a vision for an album creation and and how to get the songs how I want how I wanted them to sound. And I didn't even really know how I wanted them to sound. I just basically took these acoustic versions of tracks and went to a producer and said, "Here, like, help me bring these to life." And uh, Somewhere in the mix of recording that song, it turned into this like twangy country sounding song. And so if you go listen to it um, on Close to You, um, it's just like, I don't, if there's one song, I never regret, I never regret 
putting out music, but if there's one song that I kind of am close to like, how did I let that turn out that way? Uh, that's the song, is Fly Away. Because I wanted it to have much more of like a upbeat kind of Christian pop, like worship feel, like kind of a driving. And uh, man, we went, somehow we went the other way. And uh, so if you ever listen to, that's why I would love to put out an acoustic version version of that song too, because I just like love that, the, the worship praise feel to that. Um, not the not the country feel. Sorry, I'm uh That's better. Um all right, so we uh let's see who's on here. Drew, shout out to Drew. Met you at Suvenville, Rochester. Brian Hill's back on. Kathleen Moynihan. What's up, Kathleen? Man, you go. we go way back. Uh, you were probably one of the first people to hear some of these songs uh, back at Franciscan. Um, Kathleen Scherter says she loves the twangy version of, of Fall Away. I'm, I'm glad you like it because, man, I can't, I can't get behind it. Um, who else we got on here on Instagram? OLW Youth. Thanks for tuning in. Sophia. Highland Fam, Hannah, Fl Flavia, is that how you pronounce that? I think you're coming in from Spain. I think you're you're tuning in from Spain. If I'm, I may be totally getting that wrong, but if I'm right and I pronounce that right, give me a thumbs up. But thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, moving right along, this was a last minute. This next song was a uh, a last minute addition. <clears throat> It was a last minute addition to the uh, to the set tonight and I was going through the list of songs that I wanted to play and um, I just was like hey I should give this one a shot I've never played this song acoustic before ever um, and uh, so this song is called nothing what if I woke up today had only what I thanked you for the night before my whole life would not be the same to die is to gain would I have nothing nothing eh, eh. Um, that hook that was just a prayer that I had like God what if I woke up today and ho only had this morning what I thanked you for the night before um, and man I, that's just like a really gut-wrenching uh, prayer or question to ask the Lord like God if I woke up today and I only had in my life those things that I thanked you for before I went to bed last night what would I have and uh I gotta be honest I wouldn't have a lot um and I think it's kind of it's you know as I was sitting down working through the song today I was like man this is really applicable to our culture because we kind of woke up one day and a lot of the things that we love uh were gone you know uh a lot of the the grocery items that we love that we need the food that we like Maybe that is, that's not necessary, but just the stuff we really like, gone, off the shelves. Sports, gone, restaurants. Um, being a, just the kind of the freedom to live as we want to live, you know, and go about our day, gone. Um, and so, you know, oftentimes I feel like God can be uh, the first one to get the blame for something like this, um, but, uh, but also the last one to get uh, the thanks and praise when things are going well. Like when you wake up and you have a normal day, like that's because God's active and he's moving and he's working. And when you wake up and you go to Target or Cub or whatever grocery store and um, and the shelves are stocked and full, that's because God's, you know, working and moving. And, I, you know, but that's just normal. So we don't see that in the light of being grateful and thanksgiving and, and thankful all the time. So let this song be a challenge to you uh, to be more grateful and to be more aware of the way God is working and moving in your life. Um, I think there's no better time to kind of hit that reset button with our relationship with God than right now. Um, so, and uh, fun story, this song, I there's a, um, this guy, Biko, I think I've talked about him before, Brendan Co from um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. He produced this song and I just started following this producer on Instagram and he was really creative, like really down to earth guy, super creative, 
uh, post a ton about his family and his kids and just like seemed like someone I really wanted to be friends with and was really inspired by his work ethic. And uh, he would produce songs out of like, he used a bottle of Tums and produced a whole song out of a bottle, like the sounds from a bottle of Tums, like recording shaking and all these things. And I was like, man, this guy's creative. And so I just messaged him on Instagram and said, hey man, I have this melody for a song. Uh, can I just text it to you and, and you like make a song around it for me? And he was like, yeah, sure, let's give it a shot. And so I didn't know him at all. I just had been kind of championing his cause, you know, sharing his posts and commenting and supporting stuff online. And so I sent him the melody of like, you know, the, 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 the hook melody. And he made this awesome instrumental beat for then for me to write the rest of the song to. And so if you go listen to it, it's one of my most listened to songs called Nothing, and it features a worship leader from uh, the Twin Cities, Josiah Davey, killer voice, uh, really, really good dude. He's part of a worship movement out here called Grace House, Minneapolis, and uh, I went to one of their worship nights uh, and just hit him up and was like, hey, let's grab coffee. I'd love to get to know you, become friends, and uh, that led to this this collab on, on the song. So this song is called Nothing. I pray it would be a... Uh, a challenge for you today to be more grateful uh, for the things you do have, even though it feels like right now there's a lot of things we don't have, um, but we uh, we still have so much, right? So, because um, we could wake up and it all could be gone tomorrow. So the song is called Nothing. What if I woke up today Had only what I thanked you for The night before My whole life would not be the same To die is to gain Would I have nothing, nothing You say you're grateful What's that really mean? I see you always in your wallet, but you're never on your knees. Man, I'm not here to judge, but maybe I can bring perspective. What good is generosity if your heart is gone bankrupt? Yeah, don't take what you're not willing to give. Don't speak what you're not willing to live. You won't walk yet, yeah, stop talking while you're busy complaining about all the mountains. Yo, I'ma keep climbing higher than ever before. Oh, I'm not scared anymore. I take on a different level like an elevator. Yeah, we going up. I'ma hold the door so that you can come along, ayy I taken off in an airplane up to the sky Thinking about how I live my life Reach out, touch the stars, give my heart to the night Say a prayer but I don't fall from the light I'm taking off in an airplane up to the sky Thinking about how I live my life I reach out, touch the stars, give my heart to the night Say a prayer but I don't fall from the light Singing, what if I woke up today what I thanked you for the night before Would my life be the same? Would I have nothing? Would I have nothing? Nothing What if I woke up today And only what I thanked you for the night before Oh, my whole life would not be the same To die is to gain Would I have nothing, nothing Am I the man I want to be? Hardly pause me Let's go back a few years so I can restart, please Kick the bad habits, get back at it No longer static, automatic Moving through like a caffeinated jackrabbit Find my jacket, hide what I'm lacking Attacking comparison, using joy as a tactic Moving hope to the masses, yo, that's what I'm after What's it all worth if I'm failing my family? Merrily I go round, so up, so down Man, please help me figure all of this out Merrily I go round, so up, way down God, please help me figure all of this out Yeah, I sit behind my phone like a drone on the daily Comparing all these dreams that I'm chasing Oh, I sit behind my phone like a drone on the daily Criticizing all those who've made it Oh, I sit behind my phone like a drone on the daily Comparing all these dreams that I'm chasing Yes, I sit behind my phone like a drone on the daily Criticizing all those who made it Hey, what if I woke up today 
Not only would I thank you for the night before, well, my whole life would not be the same. To die is to gain. Would I have nothing? Nothing. Would I have nothing? La da. Or would I have nothing? Whoa. Or would I have nothing? Would I have nothing? Nothing. Change my heart, change my mind, or open my eyes to see. I wanna be grateful for all you've done for me. Yeah. Change my heart, change my mind, or open my eyes to see. God, I wanna be grateful for all you've done for me. Yeah. Change my heart, change my mind, or open my eyes to see. I wanna be grateful. For all you've done for me, yeah. Change my heart, change my mind. Open my eyes to see God. I wanna be grateful for all you've done, for all you've done. Oh, what if I woke up today? And only what I thanked you for the night before. My whole life would not be the same. Die is to gain. Would I have nothing? Nothing. Would I have nothing? Nothing. That's nothing. Man, I should finger pick that. Um. Yeah, I uh. Man, that's still, to, that's, to, it's good for me to play that because it's just such a good reminder for myself. Would I have, would I have, what would I have? I probably wouldn't have my minivan, yeah. Or my espresso machine. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I, I forget to thank God for uh, at the end of every day, so. Let that be a challenge for you guys. The song's nothing. Hey, uh, so before we go on, I know I've talked a lot about um, my uh, my online store being revamped um, with some house tour of my house tour merch, but this just came in today. Um, I have a song out called Full Time Dreamer, and it's kind of becoming like a brand in and of itself for me outside of just the song. Uh, so I've got some new Full Time Dreamer merch coming out. Uh, so this is the front on the pocket. It says uh, established 1988, full-time dreamer, year I was born, established 1988, and on the back, it's got the, uh, it says full-time dreamer, established 1988 with the star, um, the star accent. So this will be uh, available in the store ASAP. I'm hoping uh, by the end of this week when I get the store up and running. Uh, awesome premium crew neck. We're going to have it in black with uh, white, um, white lettering and logos and then we're gonna have it in gray with white lettering and logos as well we might make it uh, into a hoodie but for right now we're gonna have this uh, premium crew neck it's super cozy I just got it in the mail today um, it's awesome I love it so full-time dreamer rep it if you believe if you feel like you're one would love for you guys to pick one of these up um, so hey where uh where are you guys tuning in from today it's been a while I don't think at the last show I asked for you uh, I don't think I asked for uh, the city sound off in the comments. So um, who do we, uh, we got some nine for show, nine for nine, the Hill family. Um, who else do we got here? I got some Minnesota folk coming in. It's uh, it's Tuesday in Guam. I love it. You're always, you're always, you're always one day ahead of me, Jose. Um, Got the Charleston, South Carolina crew. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, so, uh, one more song left. Um, and this song, again, we were going through. Where's my guitar pick? Uh, we were going through the uh, the set list. Katie, I was I was talking to Katie about, hey, what song should I play tonight? And she's like, what's that one song that you have that, like, you never play? Like, what is that song again? And I was like, uh. 
I don't know because I'm like starting to play all of them for this house tour thing. She's like, no, but it was like a single. I was like, oh, a blaze. So if you're like a new fan of mine and you've been following my music anytime probably in the last three or four years, I don't think, um, I don't know if a blaze is, I don't think it's online anymore because I, uh, I made it right as like the Mumford and Son craze was coming out. So I finished the album close to you. And then I was like, I want to get in the studio and make a single and Mumford and Sons just kind of changed the whole landscape of music. So this like kind of kick drum style thing was going. And, uh, and so, um, I was like, man, we got to write a song called the blaze. And I wrote it for about just the Holy spirit, like wanting to come and, and be and burn within me, set me ablaze on fire, um, with the power of the Holy spirit. And so, uh, I want to remake this song because I, I took it down, honestly, between me and all of you guys. I took it offline because it was just uh, not in sync or in line with anything of else from a production standpoint. Like, it was so far off the beaten path of what I was doing. Um, so, I have a dream to turn this into, like, an EDM dance, upbeat, driving song. Kind of similar to Strong As Your Love. Um, so... Uh, we will uh we will see i don't know if, when that's going to happen because i'm also wanting to make like i want to make recordings of all of these songs acoustically um so i gotta prioritize maybe you guys could help me prioritize what songs to record and how badly you want them recorded and that will help me sift through uh, so this song is called the blaze i hope you guys like it and uh thanks again for tuning in hey i haven't asked yet Share this video. Uh, if you're on Facebook, it just takes a simple push of a button uh, to share it. Um, get some more people on the back half of this tour. If you're on Instagram and you want to screenshot it and share it in your story. Hey, one, also one more thing. I just got to plug. Um, I got to plug my buddy Joe Masick. He, uh, he DJs for me. So if any of you guys have um, seen me live, uh, at a festival or a concert in the last couple of years, Joe has been traveling around with me everywhere and has been a huge, a huge supporter and advocate advocate for my music. He's helped me write some songs and has just been a, a, a big voice of encouragement uh, in my journey as an artist. And he himself has been building a company called Impact Entertainment. And he took an old F-350 truck and he gutted it, painted it matte black and built a pop-up, an automated pop-up uh, DJ booth in the back of it. And... Uh, his goal and his dream is to use it to, to be like a mobile portable entertainment truck. And since we're on shelter in place here in Minnesota, he and I were like, well, why don't we, if people can't leave their homes and they've been stuck in their house for a couple weeks, why don't we take a dance party to their driveway so they could socially distant, distance dance? And uh, so we did. So this past weekend, uh, we piled in his truck. Actually, we didn't pile. There were three of us. We kept our space. There was only three of us big cab in the truck so we were socially distant and uh and we drove around and we went to different neighborhoods and we uh and we just threw dance parties for people and they just got to their driveways and they all spread out and had we had like we had a ton of fun uh we're hopefully going to go back out this coming weekend weather permitting um but we if you go to impact entertainment or if you go to my music page there's a video there's a highlight reel that i put together from our time out driving around the cities um it's so cool. His truck is, I wish like we could take it all over the country because it is, it is like one of a kind. I think, I don't know if there's anything else out there like it. Um, and it was just, it was so fun to bring a little joy to people's lives, uh, as we're kind of dealing with this uncertain time. So check out his video. If you want to share that video too, my goal is to get that video on John Krasinski's some good news network, because I just think it's so unique. Uh, that Joe has this truck and that he's driving around throwing driveway. So we, we're calling it the social distance driveway dance party. So check out the video, share it. If you can get behind it, tag John Krasinski in the comments. I would love that. But before that, before you get there, we're going to play a blaze. <clears throat> Strength of a roaring. 
spring flame burning me my wandering war seeks the strength of a roaring flame burning me whoa spirit spark my heart won't you be my fire, be my one desire, burning deep within my heart. The dark like the stars in the night, you call me by name. Won't you be my fire, be my one desire, burning like the dark like the stars in the night, you call me by name. fun to play so one of these days we're gonna uh we're gonna light that song up and uh we're gonna light it up and make it like a fun driving edm dance song um but hey thanks again for tuning in tonight for show number nine we hit the milestone show number 10 on wednesday night uh we gotta do something special for show number 10 i don't know what it is but we're gonna do it um you know, if you've seen me live, I throw fruit snacks out at my live show. I wish I could like throw fruit. Maybe I'll just throw them at the screen, but that's no fun for you guys. So I got to figure out something uh, fun to do for show number 10 
we've made it 10 shows in uh, to the house tour of my house tour, uh, which has been amazing. So don't forget, coming up, I'll plug it again on Wednesday, but coming up, maybe even Wednesday, get your, uh, your new full-time dreamer, your established full-time dreamer hoodie uh, in the online store, ConnorFlanaganMusic.com. And uh, share this video if you would that'd be amazing um and seriously i would love uh i would love for you to check out joe uh joe what he's doing it's it's just way cool and i think the world needs to see the effort he's putting in to bring a little joy to people's houses and, and to people's driveways so uh god bless you guys thanks so much for tuning in to the back of the minivan if you guys uh if you see me if you ever see highlights from my shows from here on out and you see us rolling around in this van you can be like hey i was basically in the back of that van you know, listening to Connor play some music. So uh, now you've now you've been here. You've been here with me. So okay. God bless. Thanks again for joining us, and we will see you on Wednesday night. Peace.